Hey everybody. Uh, so here I am recording myself talking about our skills check off. I have had so many students in the past ask me to record uh, my explanation of the skills and um, the like procedure uh, and demonstration so that they could go back and reference it. I do not like recording myself. Um, I don't like recording myself speaking or um, the video, but I am doing it for all of you. Uh, so here I am, so you can have this for reference. Uh, we're going to talk about our very first skill that we do in the course, and that is hand washing and then PPE. Uh, we always start with hand washing because it is vital in healthcare uh, to know how to wash your hands correctly. Um, hand washing is the best way to break the chain of infection, meaning that uh, preventing the spread of diseases and infections. Uh, as a medical assistant, you should wash your hands uh, at the beginning of your shift, at the end of your shift, when your hands are visibly soiled and in between patients. Uh, you can absolutely use hand sanitizer in between patients if your hands are not visibly soiled, uh, but there is a right way to do that as well. We do not do checkoffs on hand sanitizer, but I do kind of talk about uh, how to do that. So when you use hand, hand sanitizer, you want to make sure that it has at least 60% of alcohol in it for it to be effective. Most hand sanitizers have 70%. But that is an NHA testing question, um, how, how much alcohol has to be um, in the hand sanitizer, and that's 60%. Um, the other thing is to make sure when you are using hand sanitizer that you, um, when you put it in your hand, that you are using it like you would wash your hands, um, not just like this, because <laughs> you're only cleaning the palms of your hands. So you're actually like washing your hands and that you don't touch anything until it's completely dry. So it, once it's completely dry, it's effective. Your hands, but we do go through the skills of um, hand washing. So I will actually demonstrate the skill. Uh, we will also do PPE. Um, the, when we do this check off, we will put on the entire thing of PPE um, and then take it off for this check off. Um, and I will also demonstrate that. You don't routinely wear all of the PPE. Uh, we wear the PPE or personal protective equipment. That means it is protecting you, the healthcare worker. Um, so we don't wear it all, all the time. We do that based off of um, the patient and the risk for transmission. So anytime that we uh, think we will be exposed to blood or bodily fluids, we do what we call universal precautions or standard precautions and we wear our gloves. So for things like phlebotomy um, or uh, any type of urine tests or things like that, where we're ex exposed to blood and bodily fluids, we will always wear our gloves. Um, for contact precautions, meaning this is something that is spread through contact, like MRSA or C. diff, those things we would always wear our gown and of course our gloves. So um, the next one is droplet precautions. That is things that are spread through larger droplets like flu. Um, and so with that, we would wear a mask and of course our gloves. Uh, and then for things that are airborne precaution, meaning that these are very small and they can get through even a simple face mask, we would wear an N95 uh, respirator. Now that's things like tuberculosis, measles, varicella, which is chickenpox. Those things require um, that N95 respirator. I will say that does not include just the ones you can buy on Amazon. An actual respirator for these illnesses needs to be the kind that is fitted um, specifically to your face. Uh, so there is a specific protocol for that. And again, we will go over that when we get to uh, the infection control unit of this course. This right now, we're focusing on the steps of hand washing and PPE. Okay, so ideally we would have a sink that has a um, touchless on, like whether we hit it with our knee, um, it's just like we run it under some way where I don't have to turn on the faucet, but I'm using what I've got. So um, we wanna make sure that the water is warm. Again, in the real world, you sometimes have to use whatever your facility's got. Some, of, some if you may go to work somewhere that the water just doesn't get warm. Uh, but ideally, and for testing purposes, you would like warm water. Um, and so I'm gonna use a paper towel to turn the water on. This thing actually does get warm. And pulse my paper towel. Uh, and then I'm going to wet my hands. Um, for for checkoff, I would always recommend taking off your jewelry and your watches. Um, in the real world, you could pull that up. I'm going to wet my hands. Hands are wet first so that when you get your soap, you get a good lather. So, and then we're going to wash our hands. Minimum 20 seconds. Has to be 20 seconds. You can sing happy birthday to yourself twice. 
um, NHA has a great video on hand washing. You want to make sure that you're washing the bottoms of your hands, palms, the tops of your hands good, your wrist, in between your fingers. And of course, my students always tend to miss um, the thumb. So don't miss the thumb. And then once you have washed your hands, um, and I also don't have nail sticks or a brush, but that is also something you could use to clean up your nails. Um, once you do that, then we rinse. We always rinse with our fingertips down and not up, because if you hold it up, you're gonna get water dripping all down your elbow and nobody wants it. So once our hands are rinsed, we would grab our paper towel to dry our hands, just kind of pat dry until they're completely dry. And then we'll grab another paper towel to turn our sink off. And that's your hand washing skill. Okay, so once you have your hands clean, we will put on the full thing of PPE and then take it off. Uh, this is where this uh, skill shake off gets a little tricky because you do have to put this on in the correct order. So the PPE that we have includes our gown, um, our goggles, or face shield. Um, I have both, so whichever I have over here. Um, mask, simple face mask, and then our gloves. Um, during practice, you'll find uh, what size glove fits you best, and that is the one you want to make sure you grab. Uh, so the first thing that we put on uh, for PPE is, or we may say donning. So donning is putting on, doffing is taking off. That may be the terminology we use. So for donning PPE, the first thing we do is put on our gown. So the gown, there are different types of gowns. There are some gowns that have um, the ties like this one, the top around the neck and the waist has ties. Um, there are some that have a neck piece that goes over your head that you do that way. Uh, so there's different kinds, so it's whatever your facility has. Um, if you do have the ones with ties, we tie the neck first, and then we want to wrap it around um, and fully and then tie at the waist. Some of these, like this one, has cuffs on the end. Some of them have finger holes. Uh, some just have elastic at the end. Uh, whatever you have, that's you just need to be familiar with the um, PPE and equipment that you have in the facility you're at. So once you have this tied on, the next thing we're going to put on is our their mask. So we're going to... Take this side, wrap it around your ear. Take this side, the other ear. There is typically a little nose piece here, a little um, metal piece that'll conform to your nose and you're gonna grab down here. So mask is next. Then will be our goggles. I have glasses on, so I'm not gonna put them on, but our goggles. And then the last to go on is our gloves. So gloves are always the last thing you put on and then the first thing you take off. When you put the gloves on, you wanna make sure that you cover the cuff of the gown so they're completely covered. Like that. So if I needed full PPE, I would be ready to go in a patient's room. I would also point out that I would have my hair pulled back, even though I don't right now. Um, so the first thing we take off is our gloves because they're the most soiled, right? So they're the first thing to come off. In the real world, I would probably take my gown and my gloves off together. However, NHA, for their testing purposes, they have questions about how you take gloves off. And that's how they do that. They say take gloves off first. So that's what we're gonna do, okay? So I'm going to take my gloves off first. How you do that is you grab from the palm of your non-dominant hand. So like I'm right-handed, so I'm grabbing my left. And I'm going to roll that up there. And then I'm going to, underneath the cuff, grab that way and take these off. Okay? Because my cuff was covered with my uh, gloves. Okay? And then, at that point, I can take my goggles off if I had them on. And then is my gown. Um, again, I would have my hair pulled back. But... Um, when you take the gown off, you'll reach behind and untie or break. I, I like to break. And you grab underneath this part and pull down and roll it away from you. Like this. And then you would dispose. And then the last thing you would take off would be your mask. You grab behind your ear and you would take it off this way. Again, how you do that in practice may be a little different from how you do that in testing. The main thing is you do that in a way that protects you from anything that may be on this gown, that gown, uh, mask, anything like that.